Reverge Labs and Konami present a GGPO and Otter UI production. No, I'm just kidding. Those are the servers, but or netcode and server. Yes, guys, this is a review for something we've actually been waiting for at the site for a little while. Turns out, apparently, I'm the only one that's been waiting for it. It is uh, Skullgirls. Now, Skullgirls, oh, <laughs> let me try this out. We played Skullgirls for the first time at PAX last year. And uh, it's actually one of our most viewed videos, was me versus Dan. Skullgirls. Oh, looks amazing, by the way. But this is one of the first videos we did that hit over 10,000. And it was awesome that it did. I mean, I have a feeling it really put us out there. Um, got a couple dislikes, but that's because people were total haters that we got to play this first. What differentiates this game... Alright, let me do this first. This is not really a review. Um, as Dan would like to say, you know... I mean, yeah, I could review a game, a fighting game, when it first comes out. But it's like a tier list, you know. After it starts really like breaking down and people start getting really nasty at it, it's gonna change. So does my my view on fighting games. So with this fighting game, this is just an initial review of the game. Like I'm playing it and I'm doing an all review. And the reason I'm doing an initial review here is because um, some of you younger people don't know this because you weren't around. But back in the day when Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter were duking it out in arcades. Um, we had things like Killer Instinct come out, and Killer Instinct was great. And then we started to have, like, uh, <laughs> around them, three, really, if you think of King of Fighters. If you think of uh, uh, Fatal Fury, you know, like the King of Fighters, and uh, Mortal Kombat, and the Street Fighter, and the Killer Instinct, there was a lot of shit fighting games around it, and it actually crashed, pretty much crashed fighting games eventually. And uh, what's happening is Street Fighter 4 came back and blew up. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came back, blew up. Mortal Kombat came back fucking fierce and, sh you know, it's crazy. So now, games are going to start popping up. You know what I mean? Now, Skullgirls is a brand new IP. And this is why I'm doing initial. Now, <laughs> it's a brand new IP, but it's pretty much, I call it, this is the way, best way I've described it, knowing that it's you know new and you really have no other basis of comparison for sequels. I say that this game is Street Fighter 4, 2D with an air dash. And I just say it's Street Fighter 4 because that's the way I set my controller up. But uh, let's just get into a game here. The only complaint I really got about this game is the um, loading times. Loading times are pretty bad. The art is amazing. It looks great. And the best thing about this is the attention to detail with the moves of the characters because the game was made by pros. Um. Alright. Let me do three characters. I like Miss Fortune. Pinwheel. I don't. I haven't used pinwheel yet, so let's let's do this. Can't make fun of me. And Valentine. I haven't used Valentine yet either. I was gonna pick three characters that I know. There's only eight characters, but there's openings for others, and I get a feeling that if we all download this <laughs> and support them, we will uh, we'll get those other characters. I'm not gonna talk about the story or anything like that. So if you're looking for it, just. I don't really care about the story much in fighting games. I just want to show you how it plays. It's very fluid. It moves nice. I don't even know how to tag. I haven't even used tag yet. Look at it. It looks beautiful. Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay. Yeah? Bye. It was Otacon. Anyways, <laughs> what I like about this, by the way, that you just saw, you have to hold the start button in order to, to hit start. There's no automatic, like, somebody's jumbling buttons around and hits the start button. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, pause you mid-move, mid-combo, fuck you up. They can't do that. You actually have to hold it. So if the game gets paused, someone did that shit intentionally. So let's just do a real quick run-through, because I want to keep this video as brief as possible. Um, 
Let's do it. I hate this character, by the way. That I'm playing against. I suck, and I'm making this game look terrible. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? I just did horrible with the only character I know how to use. I can't do shit. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. So bad. You know, I'm blocking. I'm by him blocking. I can do that too. I need to improve tremendously on the game. I got my ass handed to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I lost so badly. For one, I didn't know how to tag out. All right, I'm making excuses now. But listen, the game itself moves great. I obviously didn't show you a good display. I did play it for like two hours last night. I really don't believe me now. But look at my Raptor account. I did play it <laughs> for like two hours. Um, the game is great. The animations are fluid. Clearly, I got my ass kicked. So, at high level play, which the computer was not at high level play, and it still spanked me, um, it moves like a Capcom game, which explains why I did so poorly at it. <laughs> but uh, the game's great. It was made by pros to be played by pros for tournaments. Word on the street is Justin Wong is thoroughly enjoying this game. I'm wicked bitter now, and I actually want to edit this video, but I don't do edits, so I'm going to prove out there how real this channel is, and I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna leave this up there. No, I'm, I'm so embarrassed right now. I'm so embarrassed. The game is great, though. Um, if you suck at fighting games like me, it's just going to take you more time to get into the game and uh, get, get your money's worth out of it, but I'll tell you right now, man, that out of all the alternatives for fighting games right now, this this is one of the better ones, and um, I'm pretty stoked to see where it goes from here, like, you know, with the eight characters, clearly I need to learn more than one. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.